My name is Maurice Ostro. I am a serial entrepreneur, founded a number of different companies in different industries from the ice cream industry to media distribution, gemstones. I always look at collaborations. What can I do in this particular industry by collaborating with others that'll make me more effective than the current players? If you are going to be effective, if you are going to be passionate in your chosen area, it will be because you're pressing the right buttons internally, that you're reflecting outside what you're feeling inside. Extracurricular activity and any type of communal activity is, I think, essential for any person in any type of role. If it's very much a group-orientated teamwork type activity, whether that teamwork activity has come from the business sector or outside that, doesn't really matter. It's about the skill set that you have and the enthusiasm that you bring to that particular activity. If you are passionate about that activity, whatever the communal organization is, you will find that you can learn things that apply to them also in your business too. A good team player is somebody who cares about the people they work with. So in any business, when you're working together as a team, it's the contributions of all the various individuals that create, hopefully, the best outcome. Unfortunately, human um, personalities sometimes don't mesh very well together. Be true to yourself. If you think you are a team player, Try and ask yourself that important question. Do you listen to other, other people? Do you understand their contributions? Do you appreciate the input that other people give? Or do you think that you have something that's unique and different and really your most important thing that you can do is to drive from the front and provide you know, that ingenuity and innovation? There are multiple skills that you can learn. Um, you will not necessarily be given the opportunity to be a finance director for a company if you don't have a lot of financial skills. But in a charitable organization, um, you can offer your services and people are much more open-minded about accepting your contributions. It is important for most people to look outside their regular workday for interests and activities that not only they are interested in, but that they can learn from. Here you have an opportunity to pick up tools, pick up information that when you place that new lens on your glasses, coming back to your own professional life, can add huge value to the work that you do. When it comes to motivating people for work, companies have a plethora of tools that they utilize, but they can only touch a part of a person's personality type. If you want to increase your own motivation for work, you have to find those triggers, those buttons that you can press that get you going one of the issues with any company is that you can have certain goals that are of interest to you as an individual that are very closely aligned with that of the company. But within an organization, you might be sidelined into doing things that don't really get you going. So it's about organizations understanding you and you understand yourself. It is impossible to increase the motivation for your work from outside. It has to be from you. The best way to motivate yourself is to find out what triggers your emotive responses in a positive manner. You find out what are the things that really excite you, that get you going in the morning. Find that out and bring it to your office.